Some kids find socialization challenging, while the others are social by nature. Every school or every class you would have been to, you will notice that there are two types of children. Those who walk up to others and socialize without a problem, and those who need more effort to become social. Why we notice this, just know that you cannot and you should never attempt to change the nature of your child, but you can definitely help them as their parents. So today I bring you seven realistic ways you can help your child to socialize at school. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Osina Chionoha and my channel is built to be the ultimate guide you need on child development, etiquette, elegance, and self-refinement. If you're seeing my face for the first time, kindly stick right here with me and subscribe. To my returning subscriber, God bless you all and welcome back on the channel. Now, without further ado, let's get right into the video. The first thing you want to do to help your child to socialize in school or in public is to practice with them. If your kid doesn't socialize with other kids or he or she finds it difficult to make friends, maybe they don't know how. As a matter of fact, sometimes it takes effort to find good friends. So fortunately, even in this case, practice would definitely make perfect for your child. Pretend that you are a kid at school. Do some role playing with your child. Pretend that you are their friend or their classmate. This will help you to oversee their current stage of socialization and it will help you to help them to establish new relationships as their pairs. Now, the second thing you want to do is to demonstrate what a good friendship looks like to your child. To be willing and able to make friends, your child needs to know what a real and a good friendship looks like. There are many ways you can demonstrate this as a parent. You can go ahead to invite your closest friends over and you can tell your child how strong this friendship is. You can let them know how good auntie is or how good auntie have been or how long you and auntie have been friends. Building a friendly and a good relationship with your child in addition to being their parent, can also help your child to understand how important friendship is. Now let's look at this scenario. If your child has a very close friend in the neighborhood or in the environment, but struggles to make new friends in the school or in church or in public places, make his encounter with that friend he has in the neighborhood more frequent. Make them to spend more time together, make them to spend more play dates together, this will help your child to appreciate the beauty of friendship and it also help them when they will need to make new friends. Another way you want to help your little one to socialize is to prep them for what to expect. Parents, whenever a situation for socialization arises, you want to prep your kids beforehand. If your child is an introvert, and you fear that they won't be able to socialize at their new school or their new class or with their new friends, you want to go ahead to prepare them on what to do and what to expect on their first day at school. When your child is invited to a birthday party or a play date with other kids, you want to practice with him or her how they will approach the birthday boy or how they will approach the birthday girl, how they will approach other kids there or how they will greet other parents. You want to teach them how to say hello when they're in public, how to greet people, how to wave at people, how to say hello, my name is Brian. On some occasions, it could be more like a live drama. You can act like the child in their classroom that will need their help, that will want to borrow their eraser or borrow their pencils. You can act like that child in church, their friends in church that would want to share their Bibles with them. Just go ahead to teach your child how to help people and how to socialize with people. Now moving on, the fourth way you can help your child to socialize is by finding new opportunities for socializing. As we keep saying all the time, practice is important and practice makes perfect. 
In addition to doing play roles with your child or preparing them for an event, you want to go ahead to give them opportunities where they can actually socialize with other children. Now, parents, let me make this clear to you. Socialization does not and should not be limited to just their schools or to just the family members. Every opportunity we provide for our children to be around other children is a step towards more successful socializing. You can make efforts to arrange play dates, sign them up for extracurricular activities, arrange sleepovers with other kids, you know, you want to put them in some trainings like um, karate classes, swimming classes. As a matter of fact, um, I think two weeks ago, my son met me when he came back from school and he was like, eh, mommy, they said we should pay 8,000 naira for Indomie Club. I was like, which one is Indomie Club? And he said, eh, the, the teacher said they are going to go for Indomie competition. They are going to give them two cartons of Indomie plus a lunch bag that Aya's mommy have paid, this one's mommy have paid, that they took pictures. So then when they pay their own, they are going to take them their own pictures and they will give them Indomie shirts. You know, interesting thing. And I already found out how interesting he was to join them already. So I didn't know how to tell him that, Ryan, I don't have this money or I'm not prepared for this. I just told him, okay, you'll pay. And then I called the teacher and she gave me more details about the Indomie Club and I paid for him. And the day I came to pay, he didn't even know. So while he came back, he was like, hmm, that they took them for the picture and they said Indomie meeting is every Saturday. You know, I just found how happy he was to just be engaged in this activity that is not even the normal school activities. So in essence, my point is sometimes your best strategy is to let the child learn how to socialize on his or her own and all you have to do for them is just to provide the opportunity. Now we are at the fifth point and that is seek help from others. When we see a child that is an introvert, is such a child that um, is not social and is also a shy child per se, some kids find it harder to overcome these barriers why others just grow above it or just get better by the day. If nothing we mentioned helps, it is sometimes important that we seek help from others. While saying others, I'm talking about maybe um, you could talk to a pediatrician to see if there is an underlying issue that needed to be addressed in your child. Or you may even consider taking your child to a child psychologist if you notice some serious communication obstacles that cannot be overcome. This is if you have done your part. If you have done any of these things I have listed before now and you see that there is not an improvement, then you can go ahead to take your child to a child psychologist. We all need help once in a while. Parents, we all need help once in a while. It is not enough to just have children and just leave them all up in the house, feeding them, buying toys for them and providing for them. Whether we ask the professor to help us in our children or whether we decide to contact a professional, needing help is normal. Seeking for help is not a bad thing. And remember, there is always, always a room for improvement. And in all of this, just know that a closed mouth is a closed destiny. On to the next point, which is teaching your kids to love music. Music, as we all know, is recognized as a great tool for social development. So why not we leverage it to help our children to adjust in their socialization journey in school or anywhere they find themselves? Parents, can we encourage our child or our children to love music, to join music classes, or to convince them to learn to play an instrument, I mean a musical instrument? Of course, that is if the child shows some interest in doing so, right? Another advantage is that music is a very productive way to boost social skills in your child. And there's a research, let me let you know. According to BBC, learning a music instrument can boost a child's self-confidence and learning in other areas. So, in addition to this, any child who plays a musical instrument 
is more exposed to meeting other children, which provides them with another opportunity for socialization, as you have said earlier. So you can imagine if your child plays a keyboard in church and, okay, because I sing very well, I have to be in choir practice every Saturday evening. You understand? And that will give me an opportunity to meet other choristers, meet other members of my church. And then on Sunday, we are good and we sing. So imagine your child plays a musical instrument in church. Every Saturday evening, he has to be in church or she has to be in church for rehearsals. Or if there are other programs or if there are other things they will need them to do, they have to show up. And this gives them the opportunity to meet other children. If they are also good in playing musical instruments, they can give them an opportunity in their schools and they will play. So that is exactly my point. Using music as a leverage to help your child to socialize. Now, the last but not the least tip from me to you today is... Encourage your child to join a sports team. Just as you have said about music earlier, the same goes for sports. If your child is interested in practicing some sports, please go ahead to encourage them. Those children who have learned or who know how to play musical instruments will meet at school, they will meet at church rehearsals, they will meet at choir practices, while the other ones who join a school sports team or they know how to play one sports or the other, they can actually meet in um, the field or they can also work on their team building skills. And this is a factor to help your child to socialize. I mean, one tree cannot make a forest. So sports provide the kids with a very valuable lesson in their communication skills as well as their cooperation skills. And these are very essential parts of the socialization process. And it can also help your child to increase their self-esteem. I've always been speaking about self-esteem in my other videos. So my wonderful parents, have you tried any of this method to help your child socialize better at school? Or in public or is there any other method you would like to include in mind if not it is time to pick at least one of the method i have listed above and get started and i promise you you will notice results real real soon and while you are this please remember you are enough remember you are kind and remember you are one of a kind until i see you again in my next video hopefully bye <laughs>